think uh, nuclear blast naive will obviously become one of the bands which would be considered priority on the label uh, these days uh, for spine form and nuclear blast, I guess. Have you ever considered like taking like the full step and moving to like actually signing directly to something like a major label, or do you think it's better to remain in your position now? Well, as a matter of fact, we are signed on a major label, Universal. It's true. Um, it, it's it's not a direct deal, is it? Not really, but the Universal owns Spine Farm. Yeah, so okay. <laughs> it's kind of it's just a, like a division of uh, yeah. on, of Universal. Mm -hmm. uh, Universal is doing. A, uh, they have like um, Universal is working for us in Japan, for example, yeah. and uh, and um, uh, like Euro European countries. Yeah. But there is like. A, but like uh, like US, there is a, there is like a smaller division of uh, Universal, yeah. uh, which is working for us. But uh, it's still a Universal. It's it's always Universal logo on the okay. on the on the on the album. And have you noticed many changes since? Uh, well, if they come into the game. Um, yes, I mean, if they, uh, you have to be big enough to. Uh, to take a, to take a risk to yeah. to to go on a, on a bigger major label, and I think we did that maybe one album uh, like uh, too early, because this is your second album now with with this Universal deal, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah. And uh, but now it, it's working. Everything is working yeah. really well, except a few countries they don't give a shit. I mean, they just don't, you know, they have said that honestly, like straight to face that you don't have that priority. European countries? Or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because um, if you consider you guys, when you kind of broke through, that was when uh, it seemed to be not particularly in the, you know, in the extreme metal scene, if you want to call it that, mm. but the way over, over the last years, the way in the world uh, uh, in general has woken up to bands who are. Uh, Playing, uh, you know, not just heavy music, but more. Suddenly, it's okay to have guitar solos, etc., etc. When you guys uh, appeared with the first album, it wasn't really the case then, and yet you kind of took a risk playing such technical music. If you're going to take a step beyond, uh, you know, the extreme metal scene, which you've done to some degree, was it? Um, was there ever any words from, you know, I mean, when you signed first to Spine Farm or Nuclear Blast that they they thought it would be hard to set a band like Children of Bottom because you you were like. Guitar was kind of band, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, not really. I mean, because I think uh, I think uh, uh, Spine Farm or whatever uh, record label they they are always they they're trying like different like unique unique bands, yeah. always. And uh, I think they they thought that it, 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 this is good. I mean, we're we're gonna put some effort and uh, you know, yeah, behind, yeah, yeah, and try to, you know, I suppose try to work out for both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you were also one of the first bands I, I remember. I was quite surprised. Your name is the first name that I remember when I think back to when we kind of started finding out about all these bands that were doing so well in Finland in the beginning, especially Finnish bands, because I believe that you guys were the first band I read about that had uh, a number one in. Uh, in Finland. I mean, nowadays yeah, it's not... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, in the charts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I guess nowadays it's not that strange, but back then it was very, very surprising. So, um, I mean, how did you feel back then? I mean, did you expect to have something like a number one single or even a number one <laughs> album in Japan? Or sorry, in Finland? Not feeling it. Uh, not really. We, we were like, uh, was it like, I don't remember, was it like third album, uh, which was on the number one but the, but anyway it was like I mean n nobody couldn't imagine that it, it would be on, on, on number one so I mean was, nobody it was very much a surprise for you yeah and uh, it was like since then I mean 2000 2001 I mean uh, not, I mean we were like every time we release an album it was number one mm. And media, like a major, like a big media, they didn't, they didn't want to recognize that. 
they did, they know this that okay this yeah. is, is happening but they didn't want to you know and nowadays is it the same because no i mean no they're no no i mean nowadays it's like uh, all this bullshit tabloid magazines they're asking for interviews and stuff yeah. but the, we are always like okay we're done taking a step back yeah we are, we are not doing those things i mean it's it's not good for us because we are serious with this we're not mm -hmm. fucking idle <laughs> idle band yeah you don't be like, like a right sensation yeah i mean this is like a real band yeah and uh but you've, you've always had very strong support in, uh, in finland right and mm -hmm. i mean but then again um Japan always seems to have been very strong for you as well because you did the Tokyo White Hearts uh, live release and is this, are you still as popular now in Japan? Has it been growing? Yeah, I think the, uh, the blood drawing uh, it's so, something like uh, 30, 35,000 there which is, uh, I think it's the same like Are You Dead Yet? Really? Okay. And um, I think it's, I think it's Pretty awesome. It I is mean, pretty awesome, you know? yeah. Because um, if you consider Japan had been for a long time a kind of a safe haven for a lot of bands uh, mm. who were fading in Europe um, back in the day, and I have heard reports that that the record sales were dropping there, uh, not just uh, through downloading and whatever, just because tastes were changing. Whereas mm. it seems that that you've uh, actually grown in that time uh, in Japan. So Japan is a. Uh, I mean, you, you, have an, you have an album called Tokyo. Uh, uh, the Tokyo uh, Wild Hearts, is it? War Hearts. War Hearts, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting confused here. And then you've also done a live recording from Stockholm. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I find that a bit strange. Yeah. yeah, because I thought uh, I, I didn't really expect Sto uh, Stockholm to be one of your strongest uh, markets in Europe. Or was that the reason? Or Well, uh, it was like just a practical reason to do that there because uh, we wanted to speak English. Okay, right. That was the first. Yeah thing and uh, we didn't want to do that in, in Finland because of the language yeah, sure. thing and uh, um, Stockholm was uh, it's so near to you know to take a ferry for sure. all the yeah. Uh, yeah. like a video guys and stuff because it was uh, it was quite big uh, production mm -hmm. and uh, I think it, those were it, it was like money money thing and um, just practical. So it was more for practical reasons than yeah. anything else, yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, and uh, one thing is we didn't want to do that in the uh, UK because so many bands have done it. In the UK, yeah. Uh, it is kind of unique doing it in, in Stockholm. Yeah. Um, and uh, mm -hmm. and um, for, for the future of the band now, from, from when you're done with this tour, what's next on the cards? Well, we are uh, we are going to US again mm -hmm. <laughs> with the uh, with Lamb of God and uh, so they are dying and what else? God forbid. Yeah. Municipal voice. Municipal voice. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard about that. But uh, anyway, with them and uh, it's gonna be like six or seven weeks even. And then coming back, doing a few festivals and uh, then I don't know. But we haven't planned that. That much, but we have some plans for next fall. Yeah, but it, I think it's gonna include the U.S. and South America and Japan. Okay, and then we are off with this. Then we have to start composing. And the whole cycle starts over. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's not a bad thing, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. And then we have like uh, over a year, you know, off for touring and you know, no shows, and then we can. It's better than a regular job. Yeah, it is. We yeah. can be home and still our salary is running. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Okay. Well, we're about done here, so um, good luck tonight. Hope it's a good show. Thank you. And uh, again, nice one for bringing Cannibal along. Yeah. All right. Cheers.